Welcome to Hannity. Tonight, former Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. She's not the only person leaving the Democratic Party with less than a month to go until the midterms. As a matter of fact, it's 28 days. Democrats are now hemorrhaging support from the African American community and the Hispanic American community. Now, we'll have full analysis straight ahead and a debate with our friend Dr. Cornell West, plus Indiana congressional candidate Jennifer Ruth Green will be here to respond to a horrible smear campaign against her, including a disgusting attempt by some Democrats to attack Green because she was sexually assaulted. She was a victim, even after she requested that her privacy be respected. She'll tell her story. And tonight, Dr. Phil will join us on a very controversial show he did on the issue of cancel culture. Here's a preview of that. Nowadays, you better watch what you say because there is always someone in person or online who will tell you, you can't say that. It's problematic. Now, our friend Dr. Phil will be here in just a moment. We'll talk about that show and more. First, another day, another scandal for Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock, as his ex-wife once pointed out that Warnock is a great actor, but doesn't appear to be a very good person. Tonight, a brand new ad featuring newly uncovered body cam footage sheds new and a disturbing light on the domestic dispute between Warnock and his ex-wife. As you watch this, ask the question, why wasn't Warnock arrested? Take a look. <laughs> and he just starts backing the car off. I just can't believe he would run me over. But I've tried to keep the way that he acts under wraps for a long time, and today he crossed the line. So that is what is going on here, and he's a great actor. He is phenomenal at putting on a really good show. When such allegations are usually made, often there is an arrest. My question tonight is, why wasn't Raphael Warnock arrested? Why didn't the cop arrest him when his wife said all of this? Why is the media, especially in the state of Georgia covering for Warnock. Sadly, that was not Warnock's only run-in with the law. As a matter of fact, this year he was ordered by a superior court judge to attend mediation after he was accused of neglecting his very own children, failing to pay child care expenses, despite amassing a net worth of, what, nearly a million dollars. And in 2002, as a minister in West Baltimore, Warnock was arrested for obstructing a police investigation into child abuse at his very own own church camp. According to the Baltimore Sun, he blocked police from interviewing camp counselors, and one trooper stated, quote, I've never encountered resistance like that at all. Ultimately, Warnock himself was not convicted of any crime, but five cases of child abuse were, in fact, brought against uh, the camp director. This is Warnock's camp. Warnock was clearly trying to protect not only the camp, but that director. Again, where is the media demanding answers? If it was Herschel Walker, you know that they would be demanding answers, hence the double standard in the media. Now, one former camper claiming that Warnock's counselors tossed urine on a 12-year-old boy, made others sleep outside in the cold without any shelter whatsoever. So, Georgia, is that really the guy you want representing you in the U.S. Senate? A lot of attacks going against Herschel Walker. All's fair, love, war, and politics, right? A guy who calls police thugs and gangsters. A guy that wants to end all cash bail. A guy that voted for massive tax increases while using a loophole to skip out of paying his own taxes. A pastor that wants no restrictions on abortion. A guy that praises the virulent anti-Semitic and racist Louis Farrakhan. Praises Reverend Wright, you know, GD America, not God bless America. Praise the murdering thug dictator Castro. And meanwhile, the Democratic Senate candidate in Pennsylvania, well, he isn't any better. Trust fund brat in a hoodie who never worked a job in his life, John Fetterman, well, he might even be worse. Not only is Fetterman a lifelong deadbeat socialist with radical positions, but a recent stroke has left him severely disabled. It was on full display on NBC tonight. Take a look. We had a monitor set up so that he could read my questions because he still has lingering auditory processing issues as a result of the stroke, which means he has a hard time understanding what he's hearing. Now, once he reads the question, he's able to understand. You'll hear he also still has some uh, problems, some challenges with speech. And I'll say, Katie, that just in some of the small talk prior to uh, the interview before the closed captioning was up and running, it did seem that uh, he 
had a hard time understanding our our conversations. We've asked mm -hmm. multiple times for medical records. We've asked uh, for interviews with someone from his medical team. Those requests have so far been denied to NBC News and other outlets that have requested this. Now, by the way, that was on MSDNC. They were even raising concerns. Now, to be fair, we wish Fetterman a full recovery. But the U.S. Senate is a big job with a ton of responsibility. The voters of Pennsylvania deserve to see Fetterman's medical records. And John Fetterman needs to stop hiding from Dr. Oz. Early voting has been going on for weeks in Pennsylvania. And he refuses to debate Dr. Oz until the last week of October. Now, it's pretty obvious John Fetterman is not mentally capable of debating. You decide. Take a look. Should uh, Joe Biden run again in 2024? I think that should be a decision made by Joe Bin. Joe Bin, um, okay. Just like he said, uh, the other comment about kicking, and I won't say it again because I got in trouble for saying it the other night. Some people were upset. Anyway, John, if you are wrong, if we're wrong, uh, and you're capable of being senator, you can come on this show. We'll give you a full hour, or at the very least, show up for a debate with Dr. Oz. More than one, you said that candidates should do three debates. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.